Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to take you through the new HTML5 pattern attribute. So essentially this new attribute allows you to perform some client side validation in the form of regular expression patterns. So you can apply your own regular expression patterns to your input fields and then your clients must actually enter the correct pattern before the form is submitted. So it works very similar to the input type of email and also the required attribute. Okay, so we have here a username field and we can use this new pattern to say, well, this field must contain only characters, numbers and periods and also be between six and 12 characters long. So let's do this using the HTML5 pattern attribute. So inside my text editor, we can see here, I've got just a essential form and the input field inside here. So let's go ahead and add the pattern attribute to the input field. All right, so down here, let's say pattern is equal to, and this is where you put your regular expression pattern. So we can say, for example, anything uh, between a uppercase A and uppercase Z, a lowercase A and lowercase Z, a number, or a period. Okay, so we have that right there. And then we can say between a length of six and 12. Okay, so um, if I was to save this now and refresh my browser and then type in, for example, just A and press submit, it says here, please match the format requested. Okay, so we might also want to just say um, this is a required field. Okay, that way, if I was to try and um, submit this, it goes through. But now we have the required field. If I try again, it says we have to fill it in. Okay, so we have the pattern working. I can type in nothing and it says match the format. Okay, so what about the actual description? So you can describe to your users what the format will be. So back inside the HTML, we can do this using the title attribute. So we can say title is equal to username must be between six and 12 characters in length and contain only uh, uh, letters, numbers and periods. Okay, cool. So I can now save this and refresh and we get this result right here. If I type in A, press submit, it says our description right there. Okay, so pretty cool. Now, if I was to just say uh, decode, decode.dom and press submit, it goes through. Okay, so um, it works when you satisfy the actual pattern. So a good use case for this would be um, a website URL. So we can say that an input field must contain HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash for the URL to be valid. So let's go back inside here and add a, um, add a new input field. Okay. And this will be once again type of text. We'll just put the label there too. Okay. And change this to INP website. And this will be website. Okay. So now inside the pattern, we can change this to say it must begin with HTTP s and the s is optional so we say, um, use a question mark there okay for optional s and then we can say colon forward slash forward slash and then anything at any amount of um, uh, any amount of length so any character any amount okay so now we can change the uh, the title to say must begin with http or or HTTPS, okay? So I can now save this and refresh and we get a very similar result. If I type in decode.dom, a valid username and then an invalid website, we get this right here, okay? If I make this HTTP um, forward slash forward slash, then we say youtube.com. All right, press submit and the form goes through. And that is the HTML5 pattern attribute. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.